Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I start the process video for the She Light of Cards for October that you just saw. And I'm going to be doing this in my 10 minute segments so you only have 10 minutes. Here's my timer. I will set that for 10 minutes when I get ready to get started. I wanted to show you again the outlay of the sketch and this is the cutting guide. I went ahead and cut everything and these were 5x7 cards that I had in my stash. I went ahead and cut them down to A2 size and I do have two that were slightly smaller. I think they came in the set of like note cards so I just cut pattern paper down just for those two, but the rest are regular A2 size. And as you can see, I've got everything laid out over here. And I will be using either chipboard stickers or some of the ephemera to go on the card also. So let's get started with our first 10 minute segment. We're going to go ahead and put the first mats on the card bases, five and a quarter by four. But in this case, they're a little bit smaller on these two. Let's move everything out of the way. And 10 minutes on the clock. And go. Okay. This has this wonderful wood design on the back. But as you will see in my thumbnail, these are the two pieces I picked. They are from the Lumberjack Christmas set, 12 by 12s. I do have a six by six pad, but I went and got these pieces because I wanted to do, I wanted to do this for the sheet load. Those two ready to go. Making eight cards. I thought. I thought the craft color would go very nicely with the theme, Lumberjacks. My paternal grandfather and great-grandfather were Lumberjacks up in Wisconsin. So when I first saw this set, Christy Marcotte was working with it. I decided to go for it. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. Put the tape on the pattern piece. That'll just have some extra sticky. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Perfect. There we go. Right in the middle. I will be using this side in a later card.
truth be told. See how shiny this piece is? And the other piece isn't. This was from a different collection. Um, it said Lumberjack Plaid, so I jumped at it. But it is from a whole different set. And I don't know what that is right now, but it's not Echo Park. I just get so excited when I get on the scrapbook.com website. The company is right there in Arizona, and I'm right here in California, so I get it really quickly. Okay, so there's all our matted pieces. We have five minutes left. So let's get started with this. This is the matting. I chose black. And I'm going to put it just like that. And then we're going to alternate the pine cone piece with the buffalo check piece. So, about my family in Wisconsin, I never did get to know either one of them, unfortunately. But it's interesting to learn about family history. Both my dad and my uncle ended up in the military. So that was good. Two more. These are going together fairly quickly. And I'm glad for that. As we're getting closer to Christmas, we want something cute and fun, but not taking forever. All right, let's go ahead and put on these pieces then.
a little over one minute. We're doing good. When it comes to prints, you can actually kind of gauge how much of the pattern you want when you cut. And so I tried to do some of that. I thought there was a pine cone, a couple of pine cones. I only got one here, but there's a couple here and a couple there. And of course, this is more important here, but I didn't. I would have wasted paper probably and I didn't want to do that either. Okay, there's our time. All right. Ten minutes and we got all but three matted and so we will putting be putting that those on next time and decorating and I should be able to even do the inside so here's what we got done Thank you so much for joining me and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.